So I realized recently that when people ask me how I'm doing or how my weekend was, I'm always like, oh yeah, it was great. I did this, I did this. So hey Perry, how's the mixing on Here Come the Lights coming? Oh yeah, no, it's going great. It's actually almost done. And I always forget to ask people, well, how was yours or how are you doing? I think that's something I want to work on. Uh, oh, how about you? Can we uh, listen to what you got so far? Yeah, totally. Let's listen to it, guys. All right, you guys ready to hear it? I'm the one that's producing our EP, and I'm really excited about how it's coming together. It has a really real sound to it. You know, Dave Grohl said, when I listen to the radio, I just hear so much music that doesn't even sound like people. The vocals are all tuned and the drums are all fake. It's just terrible, you know? Our drums are definitely real. Uh, we, don't, we don't use an electric drum kit or anything. And I, I don't use auto-tune. You know, the key to not using auto-tune, you do like 10 takes and then you just select the best word from each take. It, it takes a lot of time in post-production, but if you want your vocals to sound really good and be able to say you don't use auto-tune, that's really the best way to do it. Yeah, your vocals sound awesome. Thanks. Don't listen to him, they sound great. So, uh, you guys think maybe to finish up, we should do Stranger Things? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a great practice. Let's finish on that one. Okay. Giddy up. Cool. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is Perry a better musician than me? I mean, better is such a relative word. You know... Part of what makes me such a great musician is that I try not to place any musical limits on myself. I mean, that's the reason that I don't listen to country music. Well, let's put it this way. If you compared our skills to M&M's, Perry would be that new, like, weird crunchy one that came out, and I would be peanut M&M's. It's classic. Shoot. How does it go? Dude. You seriously can't remember the lyrics? I'm sorry, man. If your lyrics were more memorable, then I'd be able to remember them. They're just... Yeah, now, you should write the lyrics the, the next time. No, seriously. So the chorus is awesome. I'm just having a hard time remembering the, the verses. And Thanks, man. Adam wrote this song that we're working on right now, Stranger Things. It has a ton of potential. I really like the chorus. The rhythm is really great. And the, the lyrics in the chorus are super catchy. But the verses just kind of leave something to be desired. Okay, I'm just gonna start at the verse, okay? All right. All right, ready guys? Enveloped in darkness, I wake in the night. I hear no sound and I see no light. Cold sweat dripping down as I rise out of bed. These visions like sugar plums dance in my head. Seriously? Oh, shoot. I was, Seriously? Oh, I'm so sorry. Christmas was like two <laughs> months ago. Come on. It's okay. time to move. I got this. I got this. Let's move okay. on, all right? The lyrics are a really important part of a song. You know what lyrics I don't get? Mind the music and step and with the girls be handsy. I mean, what's all that about? Are we starting at we the verse? This. I'm just, I, I have to get this verse right. Let's yeah. just do that. Okay, ready? You know, it's times like this, I'm reminding my old dad. Things he'd used to say to me. These visions like movie scenes play in my head. I fight for my life. My body stings from these stranger things. I like to keep my baseline simple, you know? I like to find things that are easy to be good at. Like, for example, I just ordered a Stormtrooper coloring book from Amazon. 
Climatic. Hey, so uh, before we take off, do you guys mind if we take care of some band business? Yeah, Always. totally. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, this band practice definitely went better than last time. I mean, things are going awesome. I think we're going to be famous in no time. Man, I don't know about all this. We're going through kind of a rough patch right now. I'll give it a month. So guys, I was thinking before we get into band business, let's do a get to know you session for our fans again. So we do that already. We did last week, but we're going to do two truths and a lie this time. So each of us need to just think of two things that are true and one thing that's a lie about us. And then we can actually, should we do a live video on the Facebook again? No, uh, that's a little excessive. Okay. Um, so I guess they can just watch the video in a few hours. Right. So it should be good. Yeah, that's no big deal. Okay. Um, I can go first. Okay. Ready? Two truths and lies. So let's see. I play guitar. I'm really good at cartoon voices and I was born in New Mexico. So which one do you guys think is a lie? Uh, let's see. I think that you were not born in New Mexico. I think that was a lie. Correct. I was not born in New Mexico. I was born in Arizona. But you can do cartoon voices for reals? Yeah, I'm super good at cartoon voices. I've been practicing for years. All right, then let's let's hear one of your voices. Enlighten us. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, Mickey Mouse, ready? Oh, hey, guys. I'm Mickey Mouse. Welcome to my clubhouse. Pretty good, right? This is decent. Um, anyway, anybody can do Mickey. Well, okay, that's true. Mickey's easy. Let's do Elmo. Elmo, ready? Oh, hi. I'm Elmo. Uh, I want you to tickle me. That one just sounds like Mickey Mouse again. No, that's totally Elmo. This is Elmo. Well, okay. Like I can <laughs> uh, okay, just to make it harder, pick a pick a cartoon character for me to do. Any. Uh, let's hear Bart Simpson. Is he the dad or the son? He's the son, right? This guy. Okay, man. sorry, sorry. Bart. Oh, hey guys, I'm a grad student. Look at me. <sighs> Cool. So, anyway, who wants all to go right, next? Alright, <laughs> right, I'll go next. What would I do if I only had 90 years left to live? Oh, man, I would definitely put a lot more effort into trying to kick this band into gear. I'd probably sit myself down with a good book and learn how to read. What would you do if you only had 90 years left? Hi, my name's Adam. I've been sober for... Oh, let's see. 12 years? Oh, now i got to think of a lie. Um, I was the original bass player for the Beatles. Weren't you born in 84, though? Yeah. But John Lennon died in, like, 62, right? The Beatles. I, I played with him in 64. Okay, that one's obviously the lie. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Yeah, I never played with the Beatles. Okay. All right, Aaron, what do you got for us? I have never hit and run before. I don't like dark chocolate. And I once asked Rosie O'Donnell to the prom. Just once. I... Tough one. Ooh, it's a tough one. I'm going to say nobody doesn't like chocolate. So I'm going to say that you not liking chocolate is the lie, especially dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is the best. Everybody knows that. That's the truth. I hate dark chocolate. Oh, so probably then Rosie O'Donnell. That's correct. That's the lie. I'm sure he's never hit and run, so <laughs> that was probably true. You'll never know. <laughs> I cheated. They were all lies. Uh, awesome. That was a great get-to-know-you session. Uh, should we do some band business? Yeah. So um, I think the first item of business that we have is a band name. So we've had quite a few votes from fans. Um, and it looks like if you guys are good with it, the, the choice that everybody went with is off center. Yeah. Not the off center. We're just off center. There's no the in the name. Not off center band. No. Off center. Off, off center. center. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So cool. So that's good with that. Check. Boom. Um, 
we need to talk about like what songs we're going to cover. Yeah, so I, I had one that I thought would be a lot of fun. It's an, it's an oldie, but I think a lot of people would like it, and, and I think a lot of people still know what it is. Earth Angel. Marty! Oh, yeah. Who's my favorite player on the jazz? You know, that's kind of like asking you who's your favorite child. It's definitely Donovan Mitchell. No question. Um, my favorite child is my youngest, Avery. I was thinking another fun song to cover would be Hello by Adele. We could totally rock that out. Who's Adele? Dude, are you serious? She's only like the second most famous singer ever next to Clive Harrington. Well, if she's more famous than Clive Harrington, then how come I've never heard of her? You live under a rock? <sighs> this guy. Yeah, you know, I'm really just trying to help us set goals and have a timeline, and I, I just don't do well with ambiguity. Uh, what about, like, you're always wanting to talk about timelines for what we want to do. Maybe we should figure that out. Yeah. So yeah. as far as we could probably do one cover song within the next two weeks. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, I like that. Put it up on the YouTube. Let's cover Clive Harrington. So I got a series of texts from Perry at like five in the morning, and I'm going to read them to you guys. Hey, man, call me. I have some good ideas for the new song. 501, next text. Oh, sorry, I thought it was 5 p.m. 502, call me when you're awake. 503, again, sorry I texted you so early. It's like, Perry, let me sleep. We should also talk about our music video for Secrets. I think we need to do something super unique to kind of set us apart and, okay. like, help us go viral. I mean, what if we do, like, leapfrogging over each other while we're playing our instruments? Perry's got a lot of good ideas in theory, but probably just wouldn't work in real life. Like, you know, pre-made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like, I don't think anybody's going to actually come up with a pre-made peanut butter and jelly sandwich that anybody could just grab out of a package and eat. No, Perry, that's a terrible idea. Um, you know what I was thinking we should do, actually, is I, I think we need to have something that kind of sets us apart from everybody else. So maybe we should, like, have white bandanas on our arms or, you know, have some kind of a... I don't know, that's like, like that. kind of... I don't know. I don't, I don't really like that very much. You know, I really don't care, like, how we look in this band. These other guys, you know, like, they want to wear armbands, they want to dress up and all this stuff. It's like, I just come how I am, you know. We don't need any gimmicky stuff. Let's just let the music speak for itself. Mm -hmm. You know, and if we have to, like, we can wear masks, you know, like a ski mask or Batman. No, man. the fans definitely need to see our faces. Perry, have you seen your face? The masked singer? Look how big that is right now. This could that's, be like the masked yeah, vocalist. That's not us. Come on. Some of Perry's ideas are the antithesis of good. They're also the opposite of good. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> okay, well, at least I think we need a good location. So what about Sandy Beach? Yeah, that place is awesome. I, I love that place. I think if we just film us jamming there, maybe it doesn't really need to have a storyline. That's fine. Good. I like that. Cool. Awesome. Storylines are overrated. that's a wrap.